Hello and welcome to today's video. I am right now on my rubber dinghy and we've come to a homestay place called uh, Bansuan Bonus, I believe. But we were actually supposed to go to a floating market called Sapan Floating Market. What's Sapan Floating Market? But unfortunately, when we got there, it was closed. And so we've come here instead. And uh, I've moored the boat down onto this uh, bamboo stilt dug into the canal. And now I'm just gonna get out through this little passage here and go into the homestay. There we are. Nice, there's the boat. And there's this little wonderful walkway across the canal. Look at that. We actually had our boat more down over here, but uh, we were interfering with the boats, parking up at the pier, dropping off passengers. This homestay seems to be really popular amongst boat taxis, and I'll show you why. homestay uh, is centered around a huge pond that runs right through the middle and all the seats along with the shelters and the huts are made from a combination of bamboo and wood is this the kitchen here it looks like this is where they prepare all the food right yeah, so cool. This homestay is almost like a miniature market. You've got a place to order up some drinks, etc. Then you've got the kitchen where you can place orders for your food. And then there's this like third stall set up just in front of me here, where you can actually buy entire dessert. Organic, yes, yes. Look at that, fresh. And all these stalls are situated on the footpath that is used to go around a restaurant. As I mentioned earlier, this place is a homestay, so I assume this is, or these are the rooms that you can book out to stay in. Oh, there's a bedding there, etc. I'm intrigued by this barn that seems to be supported on concrete stilts. I wonder if it's just being utilized as a storage space at the moment, or if there's actually somebody living in there. It looks like it's just storage. And then it continues in this direction. It almost feels as though I've left Bangkok and we're not actually that far. We're about a 30 minute drive from the center. Um, but if you want to come here, you can actually get yourself a boat from one of the floating markets that can potentially take you here. This is quintessential rural Bangkok, even though we're so close to the city center. So these are the seats that we've decided to settle on. Oh, double cab. I love these sunbeds, look at that. You can adjust the height of them. They're super comfy. Are they, are they comfy or what? We've got a fan up there that we can control the speed from here. We've even got a light. Oh, that switch is on these lights here. And a place to charge our phone. Oh, so this switch turns on that light there. Anyway, what have we ordered up? We've got some chicken wings here. Oh, this is Tom Yam Kun here. Uh, we've got some green curry, we've got some kanamji noodles, and then to top it all off, we've got some Thai dessert there. I've got myself a Coke. You've ordered yourself a latte or what? A Melo. A Melo? Why you don't get me a Melo, man? Oh, green curry, though. Oh, am I? Pet mate? Oh, it's a little spicy, eh? Alright. Yeah, How about this Tom Yam? You tried this Tom Yam yet? Oh, no. Ooh, that looks delicious. Oh my god. Look at that Tom Yam there. What is that? <laughs> Not only is the place stunning, but the food is really good, really delicious. I've never seen something like that in Thailand. Yeah, that is very unique. We actually found out about this place from a riverboat taxi driver that told us to come here when we were at the floating market earlier. He was like, try this place out. And we were like, yeah, why not? I completely forgot to mention that on our way here, we actually passed by a Kong Cafe and stopped there for some coffee before heading to 
this location here. But if you want to know about ED Con Cafe, I'll definitely recommend you check out the video that I made on it on the channel. But check that place out after you watch this one. There were quite a lot of people here, but it seems as though most of them that come here through riverboat taxis are just like bypassers. They probably get like some Thai dessert quickly and then they're off again because they can't wait around too long. It's nestled in between a bunch of canals. So to get here, you're going to have to get a boat or you could possibly use a footpath along the canal to get here, but I don't know where you would have to stop. But as we are on our own boat, we are taking our sweet Ooh. time. Yeah, I don't realize, but that right there is chicken feet. And that was in this green curry here. But there they are, put back in the cup. I don't know if I should try it, but, but it seems as though you can get them everywhere here in Thailand. So I'm a little bit worried to try it out. You know what, I'm gonna do it for you guys watching at home, because uh, I know you guys have seen this chicken feet around if you've been to Thailand or any Asian countries, but you're too scared to try it out. So I'm gonna do it for you guys at home. Look at it, man, it's like, it's like that. Ugh. Anyway, what do I do? Do I just get the toe? I can't believe it. I can't think about this. Cause the more I think about it, the more my brain tells me, just stop, stop, stop what you're doing right now. Mm. <laughs> there's bone throughout this, right? But there's like a very, very faint portion that wraps around the boat, the meat and the skin that you can kind of like no 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 i mean it doesn't taste bad right it doesn't taste bad and that's probably because there's lots of green curry smothered all over this but the texture is super weird you can actually bite into the joints of oh no there's a squirrel running over there no 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 have so many squirrels maybe we can give them something to eat i'll give them a carrot yeah come to check up on my boat and it's still there um, but once we're finished up with this restaurant we're gonna start heading home there doesn't seem to be any other riverboat taxis at the moment because it's approaching pretty late in the evening the sun is just about to set it's around about 5 p.m but what i could have done i could have parked my boat in here because there's actually a pier to the homestay place that we're eating at but uh I didn't, I didn't go in there because uh, there's this like blue pipe that seems to be blocking away. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like a door or something, prevent people from being able to come inside or for boats to come outside, but yeah. It's pretty cool. Hello. Airdrop. <laughs> How are you doing? Speaking to the riverboat driver, the guy in the blue t-shirt just over there, who is the owner of this boat here. He says you can get these riverboat taxis for 100 bar per person from the Lat Mayom floating market, which is in that direction over there. It's not that far away. So if you ever visit that market yourself, Klong Lat Mayom, uh, I'll have a link in the description below, then uh, you can actually come here for just a hundred baht. I think he takes you a few places. It's not just this one place. Uh, he probably stops quite a few places around. You will be sitting with strangers that you probably don't know, but... <laughs> Double your hair. That's, that's the driver. <laughs> I know, I know the boat. But it's a hundred baht. It's brilliant. I can't believe the total bill to this place came out at 432 baht. Under twelve pound fifty. Incredible. Thank you. Come and grab you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. All right. Time to get going. Oh, <laughs> 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 There we are. Oh, I'll bring the boat 
a little bit more. So that you can step down very easily. All right? Yeah. Can we go home this way, yeah? yeah. Or should we go that way? Go this way. 